Hi, this is Coach Rick Wilsey from Kegel, and we're here to talk about one of the most underrated things in bowling, uh, especially in the modern game, and that's spare shooting. Spare shooting is uh, critical in competition, especially in team masters, and also in collegiate bowling. Most college tournaments are won or lost by one spare. And nowadays, it seems like players are not paying as much attention on spare shooting as we'd like them to, as we think it's uh, one of the most important things in the game. So we're going to talk about some of the things that you can use to improve your spare shooting and become an excellent spare shooter. And again, filling frames is what wins matches, and uh, that goes for team masters or any other type of competitive event. So let's talk about some of the spare techniques that we use. First of all, you have to be in the proper alignment to make a spare. You got to get your feet and your hips and shoulders aligned to your intended ball path and uh, have everything lined up like we talked about with three-point targeting and also in the setup. That line of play needs to be the deciding factor about how you position your body. You also want to use a more of a spare type release and we'll show you a little bit about that in just a second where you throw a little bit straighter shot uh, as you do in most spare shots without trying to hook the ball as much, taking some of the lane factors out of play, reducing the margin uh, for error in this case and increasing your potential to make the spare. And we're going to have Krista Sarajevis demonstrate some of the things about spare shooting that I'm talking about. So Krista, come and join us and we'll start with uh, your setup. Let's say you're going to shoot the seven pin on this lane. So get in the position you'd use to shoot a seven pin. And notice that Krista's feet are going to be parallel to the intended ball path. So if I use my pointer here, you can see his feet are pointed actually toward the left side of the lane. His hips are also pointed perpendicular to that line of play. His shoulders are also perpendicular. And his bowling arm is actually pointed right down the line of play. So those are the key things about the setup that you want to incorporate. Lots of times players open their feet in the other direction and the hips are pointed toward the 10 pin while they're trying to shoot a seven pin spare. And the shoulders are pointed one way, the hips are pointed a different direction which really makes it difficult to make spare. So here you see Christus lined up. Everything is in the proper alignment based on the line of play. Now again, in spare shooting, we use three-point targeting. So he'll be looking at the seven pin, if it's a single pin spare, for two full seconds, counting in his head 1,001, 1,002. He'll bring his eyes back smoothly up the lane to his visual target. And again, focus on that visual target for two full seconds, 1,001, 1,002. Then take a breath in, let it out. And Chris, let's go ahead and make a, a practice approach here, even without the ball, as if you were shooting the spare. Notice his finished position. His body angles are still in the direction of the seven pin. His hips are not rotated too far. His, point, his slide foot is pointed down the line of play. And his follow through, as you saw a minute ago, went right toward the target. So he's lined up right now, as he was in the start, to make a good shot and to be a good spare shooter. Thanks, Christus. Very good. Now, we're going to demonstrate a little bit about spare releases. The spare release is more like an end-over-end release. As you see the ball coming off my hand here, the rotation of the colors on the ball are going end-over-end. And that's what you want to do in a spare release, is that end-over-end roll like you see here. And that's an easier way to make spares. You have less room for the ball to hook. It's going to go straighter down the target line and be more effective than trying to hook usually in most spares. So that spare release is what we're trying to achieve as well as the proper alignment, as well as using the, the three-point targeting. Those are all keys. As far as speed goes, we want to throw the ball about the same speed as you normally do. In other words, reduce the number of variables that you have to change to make a spare keeping everything else the same as much as possible. So when Chris just throws a spare shot, he uses the same speed as he does on a strike shot. He doesn't try to change his game completely to make a spare. So as many things as we can keep the same, the better. All we have to do then is to adjust our alignment, adjust our release, and use our three-point target, which we use on every shot, to make things happen the right way and to be successful. All right, remember on spare shooting to take the same amount of time on your spares as you do in your strike shot. I see so many players who will take a great amount of time getting ready on a strike shot, doing their setup routine, getting aligned properly, and then on their spare shot they just grab the ball and go. And that's another cause for poor spare shooting. So take the same amount of time on each shot 
uh, spare shot as you would on a strike shot. It's just as important, sometimes more important. We're also going to talk about now, as we did a minute ago with three-point targeting, you want to have a focal point. And on a single pin spare, I told you before, the focal point would be the single pin. On a spare combination, however, you want to identify what the key pin is in that combination. And that key pin is the pin that's closest to the foul line or closest to you on the lane. So for a 3-6-10 spare, the key pin would be the three pin, which is closest to you. On a 2-4-7, the key pin would be the two pin. So that would be your focal point, the two pin for a 247 or the three pin for a 3610. Works for any spare combination. For example, the 245 would be the two pin as the key pin or focal point. So on every spare, you're going to have a single pin focal point, whether it's a single pin spare or a multi pin combination. And that focal point is what you have to use to finish out the three point targeting. And again, we said earlier, three point targeting is going to greatly enhance your accuracy, your consistency and your spare making ability. So in this next session here, you're going to have about 20 minutes to do some practicing on lane with spares, and that's going to be key for you to uh, finish out your Team Masters program and to be successful at it. So we're going to have you go through a kind of a spare cycle drill that we do here at the Weber International University and Kegel Training Center. And you'll start by making the seven pin on the left side of the lane, again, aligning your body to that spare, throwing a more uh, spare-like release where the ball goes more end over end and has less hook with the same speed as you normally throw the ball and again with the same amount of time that you spend up front getting ready to make the shot making sure that you're going to make a good shot then you'll make the 10 pin and then you can make the 4-7 as we have set up here on lane 7 and on the 4-7 the key pin would be the 4 pin the pin that's closest to you the 610 would also be another spare combination you'd make, and the key pin for the 610 would be the 6 pin. Then you can make all the spares in between by hitting the pocket for right handers, it'll be the 1 3 pocket, or hitting the pocket for left hander, the 1 2. And then the rest of the spares would be made by hitting the opposite pocket, the 1 2 pocket for a right hander, and the 1 3 pocket for a left hander. So going through that set of spare cycles as we do all the time here at our programs at Kaglin and Weber International University are the key to becoming really confident in making your spares and becoming really proficient in making your spares. It takes practice, it takes dedication, it takes using that three-point targeting system we talked about to make it all happen. So if you want to be a better spare shooter, especially in Team Masters, follow these guidelines. Watch what our Weber kids do. We saw Christos Sarajevis demonstrate a really good setup and alignment for spare shooting. And he took the same amount of time in that spare shot using that three-point targeting with those two seconds on the focal point, two seconds on the target up front. That's the steps to get you to success.